Patty. So I am so excited to be sharing with you the $5 Goodwill Challenge 2019 edition hosted by Hillary from Old World Home. And I am really excited to be sharing with you my ideas. This year she did a little twist on it. She did it a little bit later in the season. That way if you wanted to do something more Halloween inspired or something along those lines, it kind of gives you the opportunity since you're doing it in October. I normally do not decorate for Halloween, but I thought it would be really fun. Every year I do a tablescape for the kids and I have been seeing on Instagram all of these really fun, whimsical, really exciting tablescapes um, that I feel like are like family friendly and just really fun. Um, so I already planned to do one and then I went into Goodwill and I saw these and they're just like uh, like little votives and it kind of is like a black. I'll show you up close in just a minute and I really liked the color of it and it has these like branches that um, like leaves and branches and it just reminds me of fall but like kind of more like a darker, like more Halloween in my opinion. So it kind of inspired me to go ahead and do that whimsical Halloween tablescape. I don't really have like scary stuff or anything like that. It's just something really fun for the kids. I have really been, I've always stuck with the farmhouse style, but I've really been into the like boho and more whimsical, like a lot of anthropology inspired look. Um, and I just thought these were really fun and whimsical too. So I thought they would go really well with my tablescape. So stick around. I have a couple DIYs um, so you can see the whole finished product of my tablescape. And now let me show you these up close. So I forgot to mention that each of these were 77 cents each. So well under the $5 budget. But I just like the color and I feel like it set the tone for the tablescape. So on to the DIY. The first thing I wanted to do was make it like fun and fresh. So I wanted to paint these pumpkins. I picked these up for 98 cents and I just taped off the stems because they're glittery. So I thought that would be fun to keep. And then the color scheme I kind of was going for was like pinks and more muted tones. So I painted one like this teal color and then one like a pastel pink and then I did one orange but I mixed in the pink to make it like a more muted pink where for fall I did like a very rusted orange color. This I wanted more like muted tones um, just for the look I was going for. I picked the pumpkins up from Walmart as well as the paint, um, the orange paint I already had on hand. The other two I picked up from Walmart and they were just over a dollar. So I went ahead and painted these because I'm going to be working on a centerpiece and later on I'm going to be showing you a banner that kind of inspired this color scheme for my tablescape. So after I painted the pumpkins, I also painted these letters. I found these wood letters at Walmart. They were just under a dollar a piece and I wanted it to say boo. And um, again, I painted the orange, the same muted orange, and then I did pink, but I also wanted to do black. So I painted the oak black, but later on you'll see when I glue it to the main centerpiece that it just blends in too much so I end up painting it the blue color. So once the letters dry I have this cauldron that I picked up it was just over a dollar from Walmart um, and I just hot glue the letters to the little cauldron. Um, I thought this would be like a really fun table centerpiece and kind of be like the center of attention for my uh, table but when I went to go glue the O like I said it blended in too much so I went ahead and painted it that like teal color and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I thought it was really fun. This table runner type thing was from Walmart. It was just under two bucks, I believe. Um, and I just thought it was like a fun runner. The, I have tons of white cake sand, most of them from the Target dollar spot. So I thought it would be fun to put the cauldron on top just to kind of elevate it more than the other decorations. Then I put the items I found from the $5 Goodwill challenge. Then I put some pumpkins that I picked up from the Target dollar spot this year. And I kind of wanted to add like a few pops of color. Like I said, my goal 
for the Halloween tablescape was fun and whimsical, not so much spooky. Um, the little ghost that I have on the stand is from the Dollar Tree. The stand is from the Dollar Spot. Then those ceramic pumpkins, the black and white ones, those are from the Dollar Tree. They were a dollar each. And then I just put the little spider web in the boo bucket. And then I bought these glass containers and I put some uh, sticks from the Dollar Tree in them. And then I put my painted pumpkins inside the Boo a cauldron that I made, the little DIY that I made. So that is how my table turned out and I love it. Here is the banner that kind of inspired the whole decor. I just thought it was really fun for my kids and I think they're going to absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this finished tablescape and if you're not really into like the whimsical style then you can definitely use more traditional colors or like keep it all black and white to make it scoop spookier but I'm really happy with how it turned out and I think my kids are gonna love it definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more decor and motherhood videos and make sure you check everyone else's channel on the playlist to see their $5 Goodwill challenge thanks again Taylor and I'll see you guys next time bye